please say this to Facebook and Twitter? Guys, we spoke a different language on the plane and now we're getting kicked out. That's insane. Now we're getting kicked out. We're getting kicked out because we spoke a different language. Is it, is, this is 2016. 2016, look. Delta Airlines are kicking us out because we spoke a different language. Because we spoke a different language. Thank you so much. You guys are racist. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe it. I spoke a word, a different language, and you said you feel uncomfortable because I spoke a different language. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe my eyes. Why are you guys doing that? Because we spoke a different language. That's so like, that is so that's upsetting. Like that is and so you guys, upsetting. are you serious? I'm about to cry right now, seriously. Because we said a word in a different language, and there's six white people against us bearded men. Six white people against us bearded men. How about you kick them? I feel uncomfortable. No, you're going to kick us out once we go outside. That's what's going to happen. They're going to kick us out. Delta Airlines. And I have an account with you guys, too. I spoke a different language and they're kicking us out. That is Thank you so much. That is Thank you. I appreciate it. So Thank you. So kicked out. Thank you so much, like, man. Why are those white people complaining about these people speaking in a different Thank language? Thank you. I appreciate like, it. I am, I am upset that that's happening. Really Thank upset. Thank you so much. You kicked them out. Okay. They, they cursed us out. Okay. He told me shut the fuck up. We never cursed. He told me to shut the f up. It's their, we never cursed. Freedom of speech. They can speak in whatever language they want to Thank on the plane. Thank you so much, man. No, no, no. Let me talk. Guys, we just left the plane. Look, this is the plane. The plane left. We were in this plane right here. We were in that plane right there. They kicked us out off the plane because we spoke Arabic. And the lady, a lot of people felt uncomfortable. One, then after that, everyone felt uncomfortable because I was talking to my mom in Arabic. Then I spoke to Slim in Arabic. And they kicked us out. Then I pull out my camera. I record everything. They stopped saying what they're going to say. And now we're literally off the plane because we spoke Arabic. And I swear, and my, mo my mom said, I swear in my own head, I'll die right now if I'm joking. I'm not even exaggerating. This is literally what the heck happened. Delta Airlines just kicked us out for speaking Arabic. We're in a position here where we do, I don't, what are we supposed to do? We don't know what to do. I spoke Arabic on the phone with my mom. I spoke Arabic with Slim. There was four Pakistani people that helped us out. They told the captain, this is stereotypical. Why are you kicking them out? I have everything on tape. There was even a couple Americans that helped us out. But then the other people, they were like, we don't feel uncomfortable. If they're not going to leave, I'm going to leave. There was around 17 of them and only four of us, four people defending me. Just because there were 17 white people defending everyone, even the captain knew that he was wrong. Even knew he was, he knew he was wrong. But he knew that if he would have kept us on there, they would have made a whole commotion. But the Delta made the decision to kick us out. Delta made the decision to kick us out the fucking plane. I cannot, now I can't see my freaking family. I can't even see my family right now. I spoke to my mom telling you I'm coming. I told them I'm gonna see you in six, seven hours. Now everything is literally upside down. I do not know what the heck, he even knows. Said, what do you think? Be honest. Huh? Huh? It's fucking bullshit. He knows, man. I'm sorry, seriously. I just can't believe it. I seriously cannot believe my eyes, man. All I did was speak to my mom on the phone and speak to Simon Arabic. That's all I did. The freaking racist piece of shits kick us out. They know who they are. I got them all on tape too. I'm not gonna let them slide. I swear my mother's up, I'm not gonna let them slide. I'm going straight to New York. I'm buying my own flight. I'm gonna buy a first class flight myself right now. I'm gonna go straight home. I'm not gonna let them slide what they did.
I'm not gonna let them slide with it. Not making me see my family because he's racist. Arabic, I spoke Arabic. Because I freaking spoke Arabic. I spoke Arabic on a plane. What language do you speak to your mom? Urdu. You speak to your mom in Urdu, right? Yeah. But when I speak to my mom in Arabic, people feel uncomfortable and they kick me out the plane. What kind of shit is that, man? Bro, it's not about, don't worry, these people... They'll arrange something for you, man. No, it's not about arranging me. They just kicked me out the fucking plane, bro. They just kicked me and my friend out. It's not about arranging something for me. They just kicked me out the plane. The captain was like, don't worry, we'll get, get you to the next flight. No, don't get us to the next flight. You just kicked us out the plane, and the people were cursing us out. We never cursed them. He was like, get them off the fucking plane. We don't feel comfortable. He's speaking a different language. And uh, the people next to us who spoke Urdu and Pakistani, they got up. They're like, relax, man. This is stereotypical. Just because they were speaking, you know, a different language doesn't mean they should get kicked out. And they were like, no, get them out. Chuck them off. Chuck them out. We don't feel comfortable. We don't feel comfortable. This and they tell us oh, we're gonna arrange you a flight after. Don't arrange me no flight. I don't want to take Delta pussy ass airlines. I don't want to take Delta airlines. I want give me another. Give me another airlines. Give me another airlines. This is unbelievable, man. Wasting my time from seeing my own family. And I'm not. I promise you, I'm not letting anyone slide in there. Anyone. I got the all on tape. I'm not letting anyone slide. I'm a, once I get straight to New York City, I'm gonna see my lawyer right away. I'm seeing my lawyer straight up. And I, and, I, and I guy, a pussy guy in, in, inside in there who's quiet. Who doesn't want to come out, who's in New York City, I'm, I promise you, I'm going to speak to my lawyer. And we're going to see what's going to happen. I got everything on footage, everything on tape for speaking Arabic. Are you serious? I was on a flight the other day in Australia speaking Arabic. Emirates is Arabic, right? Emirates is Arabic, right? This, this, this man knows what happens, but the, the sad thing is, they can't, they can't do nothing. If they do something, they'll fire them. The only people that have my back is the people of color. Literally, and the, just because the captain was, was white, he kicked us out, man. Literally kicked yeah. us out. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. Delta Airlines literally kicked us out, man. They, they're wasting time for me seeing my own family. I haven't seen my family for a month and a half, man. I haven't seen my family for a month. I just spoke to my mom. I told her I'm coming in six hours. And now I don't even know. I, I'm ashamed to even call her. When she finds out, she's going to cry. That's why I'm crying, because of my mom. When she finds out, she's going to cry, man. <laughs> Speak in Arabic. I promise, swallow that. I'm not, letting, I'm not letting them get away. I swear to God. I swear on my mother's life. No, I'm not gonna switch it off. I'm gonna keep it on. Cause when I take off the camera, you guys do the pussiest shit, man. When I turn off the camera, you guys do the most messed up shit. Who's the owner of Delta? Let me speak to Delta right now. Huh? They kicked me out the airplane for speaking Arabic? The station okay, they kicked us out the airplane for speaking Delta. Arabic. So what actually happened? What actually happened? You tell me. I was on the phone with my mom. All she does yeah. is speak Arabic. Right. I spoke to her in Arabic, right? right? Then I spoke to him in Arabic. Right. And Slim, my friend, he speaks kind of loud, right? Yeah. So the lady just, one lady was like, oh my God, I feel uncomfortable. What is he saying? Okay. Then the lady next to us who spoke Urdu, she was like, um, he's speaking a different language. This is stereotypical. Yeah. Then another white guy comes up, take him fuck off. Then I'm like, yo, relax. Why are you cursing? Right. Then another white guy comes up, I don't feel comfortable to him. Then another they white guy comes up. They were the, past, the other passengers. There were the other, the other, like 20 white passengers. Got up, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. They're speaking a different language. And then we had four people saying, they're speaking a different language. They can't speak a different language. I was on Emirates literally yesterday. I spoke a different yeah. language. Yeah. And then they kicked it. The, then the, the captain came. He was like, oh, let me speak to you outside. And then he's using that, let me speak to outside to kick me out. I know he's trying to kick me out. I pull out my camera and I show everything. I show all their faces. And once I get to New York, I'm going to speak to my lawyer because what they did was wrong. They made the decision. Delta made the decision to kick me and him out. And they have the, they have the guts to say, oh, we're just going to accommodate you. With, I, I, I use Delta all the time. I have the Delta app and everything. And I never knew in a million years Delta would, would do this. Okay. Then the guy, the, enemy, the captain says, we're going to accommodate you with the next flight. Don't worry about it. No, you, no, don't accommodate us. You just kicked us out the plane for speaking Arabic. You just can't, and there was people defending us. Then white American people stood up, I have all on tape. He was like, are you seriously gonna kick them out for speaking a different language? Right. Are you seriously gonna kick them out for speaking Arabic? 
there's people speaking other different languages and then the other white people were like, okay, take them out, I'm scared. If they don't go out, I'm gonna go out. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. And now I feel, now I cannot see my mom. No, I want to see. I want to. I want to see my mom now. I got kicked out the plane because I spoke Arabic. Okay, Do you know well, how unbelievable? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go I didn't even feel. Safe. I didn't feel safe around him, and they're telling me that they don't feel safe around me and him. Okay. And, then, and then you want to know what happened? What made it worse? One of the white people thought that me and uh, that the, a bearded guy was with us, and they were like, "He's with them." And the bearded guy, we didn't even know who he was. Just because he had a beard doesn't mean he's with us. And then the guy got so mad. He was like, "Just because I have a beard doesn't mean I'm with them." And, and now, and I haven't seen my mom, I haven't seen my family for a month and a half. Yeah. And Delta kicks me out for speaking Arabic. Okay, well, I'm, t I'm calling my mom on the phone, telling my mom I'm going to New York City. I'm going to be there in six hours. Okay. The only language she speaks is Arabic. Okay. What, what language am I, what am I supposed to speak to him? Well, I totally understand. You'd want to speak your own native language. And me and him, we speak Arabic too. We, sometimes we okay. speak to each other in Arabic. Okay. Well, let, let me. I'm just going to go down and find out what's going on. So I, I don't know what's happening. Right? I, I, I don't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm scared right now. I'm scared. You guys say you guys are scared of me, scared of Muslims. I'm scared of you guys. No, no, I feel no. uncomfortable around you guys. Well, I don't feel safe around Delta no more. Everyone was against me for literally speaking Arabic. I couldn't believe my eyes. No, I know. Everyone was like, take him out. I'm like, are you serious? Even the, even the ladies next to us were like, are they serious? This guy just spoke okay. Arabic. We just need to, um, if I was you. I am I, calm. Yeah, I am calm. And I'm keeping calm. my cameras on the whole time because when I turn off the camera, I'm filming everything from now till they come. Until they come, I'm filming every little thing. Huh? That's messed up, bro. I cannot believe I can't believe my I I feel like it's a dream right now. What do you think is gonna happen right now? Huh? Can you uh you work with Delta or no? Yeah. In Delta? Yeah, that's Wow. Delta kicks people out the plane. That's messed up, bro. What, what do you think we should do? What, what do you think we should do? You can save phone. You should know your rights first. Sorry, Thank you. Huh? Yeah, you can take it off. I'm sorry. What do you think we should do? Mm. Well, you we have to see what they're going to do first. But this is what they oh, said. The... Oh, this is what they said. Oh, we're going to give you a flight. Don't worry, we'll pay for the next flight. So they kicked us out and they're telling us they're going to give us the next flight. Get names. What? Huh? Get names. Get names and what? I, I have, I have uh, their faces. The, you need names too. I need names too? Yeah, you need names. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna try to get off the footage. Oh man, this is unbelievable, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> they seen everything that happened, but the thing is, when colored people over here, the colored people, when they say something, they get a like it, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. I wish you all the best. Huh? Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Bro, I got everything right here. So good. Huh? You got everything good right here. We're gonna we'll post it uh, tomorrow. Me and we'll come together post. So we'll post it today, bro. We'll post it. Today. Me and Smith have everything bro, on I'm tape. Today, we're gonna post it today. We're gonna edit it together and post it together. We're gonna show you guys exactly what happened. Tell you guys exactly what happened. Yeah, we're gonna post it today. We're gonna edit it together and post it together. We're gonna show you guys exactly what happened. Tell you guys exactly what happened. And we're gonna show you guys exactly what the heck happened. And on my mother's life, wallahi, on my head, I'll say it for the eighth time. This is not even over exaggeration. This is literally exactly what happened. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe what the heck just happened. <laughs> Man, I'm not letting this go. The guy even told me he was like Delta. Does it, they kick? They're so racist and they kick people out. They kick the wrong people out. They kick the wrong people out. Cause we spoke Arabic. We spoke Arabic. We got kicked out. I felt like, you know, you know what they made me feel like? They made me feel like I was a terrorist. That's what they made me feel like. Cause everyone was like, kick him out. All these racist people, kick him out. I felt uncomfortable. I felt uncomfortable. And then in my head, I'm like, in my head, me, Slim, and there was three uh, Pakistanis next to us, a family, a mother, and two kids. We felt like, what the hell, the lady was trying to speak, she couldn't even speak. She was like, hey, we didn't, um, we didn't know, uh, she, she was like, oh, what, what they're doing is stereotypical, all they did was speak Arabic. The captain came to us, and he told us, hey, uh, let me tell you guys something outside. He was, trying to, he was trying to kick us out in a nice way. I pulled out my camera right away, because I knew, I knew from that moment, I knew from that moment. I knew it, man. I knew from that moment he was trying to kick us out. I knew it. <laughs> Sorry about crying, guys. The only reason I was crying because of my mom. I just spoke to my mom, and I just spoke to Slim. And the, and the Arabic me and Slim were speaking about, we always try to speak Arabic more to each other because we rarely speak Arabic. We were doing it on the Emirates flight. No one said anything. 
We did it on Virgin Flight, no one said anything. We did it on Delta Flight, this is literally what happened. This is literally what happened. And I'm not in my, in my life letting this go. Once I land in New York City, I, I'm tired right now, I'm tired. But once I land in New York City, I'm going, I'm going straight to my lawyer's office. I promise I am not letting them go. Because what they did, they are devils. They are freaking, they know what they did was wrong. Delta knew what they did was wrong, but they were scared because the white people were like, oh, we feel uncomfortable because he spoke Arabic. We feel uncomfortable. I am not letting them go. I feel unsafe. I feel like I'm a freaking terrorist right now. The way they approached me and scared me, they scared me and slim, they scared our lives out, man. Me and someone looking at each other like, what the heck did we just do? We did it, all we did was speak Arabic and the whole plane was cursing us out. Why didn't they kick the people that cursed us out? We never cursed. We, we, were, we were sitting down in our seats saying sorry. We were literally sitting in our seats saying, guys, sorry. They're like, get out of here. Get out of the plane. What are you doing? Get out. And I was like, what the hell is going on? All we did is speak Arabic. I don't know what to do, guys. I seriously do not know what to do right now. I don't even know what the hell is going on. They kicked us out and they're making, they're making us wait here where no one is here. <sighs> ya Allah. I ain't going to be quiet about this. I promise you. I promise you on my life, I am not, I am not. I called Nas already, I spoke to them. Nas cannot believe what the heck, we're in London right now. Nas cannot believe what the heck, I am calm, I promise you guys I'm calm. I recorded everything on camera. I recorded everything on camera. Sammy, do you have the thing on the phone when the guy yeah. was talking? Let me, let me show them on press conference. What's on Twitter, bro? No, we'll just show it on, on press conference. Let's we'll show on press conference. Don't bro, post they, it. They can't do shit. Yeah, just, what are they going to do, Adam? Just they post it. Do they're they're going to get us in trouble. We're going to post how, it later. How are they going to get us in trouble for posting what happened? That's what fucking happened. Can you say this to Facebook and Twitter? Guys, we spoke a different language. Guys, we spoke a different language. This is 2016. 2016, look. Delta Airlines are kicking us out because we spoke a different language. Guys, watch this. Watch this. Because we spoke a different language. Thank it, you so much. Guys, right, so focus on You see that guy right there? He was saying bye. That guy right there, he was saying bye. Now keep watching. You guys are racist. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe it. I spoke a word, a different language, and you said you feel uncomfortable because I spoke a different language. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe my eyes. Why are you guys doing that? Because we spoke a different language. And you guys, are you serious? I'm about to cry right now, seriously. Because we said a word in a different language, and there's six white people against us bearded men. Six white people against us bearded men. How did you kick them? I feel uncomfortable. No, you're going to kick us out once we go outside. That's what's going to happen. They're going to kick us out. Delta Airlines. And I have an account with you guys, too. I spoke a different language, and they're kicking us out. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, 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 what, yeah. Bro, I swear to God, they, I swear, I swear on my mother's life, they just kicked us out. And their reason was, was this, they were like, I, I, what am I going to do if I call the police? I can't call the police. This, this was, uh, but this was their reason. They were like, oh, um, um, you spoke loud. And I'm like, what the hell? That's your reason? That's your excuse? Saying that we spoke loud? Then give us a warning if we spoke loud. We'll say sorry, that's it. They were like, you need to leave, come speak to us outside. Then once we go outside, they just let, they just literally kicked us out. And then every, then there was the people defending us, there was even white people uh, that got up. He was like, are you serious? I'm upset right now. All he did was speak a different language. They knew, everyone in there knew that what means some did was just speak a different language. And all the racist people in there, they were like, we, we feel uncomfortable. But since there was like 20 of those racist people, the captain came and he kicked us out. He literally said, I don't know what's my suitcase, bro. I don't know what's anything in my shit, bro. I don't know what's anything. Once I get to New York, I'm gonna speak to my lawyer. Don't worry about the uh, the UK police. The UK police are not gonna do nothing. My lawyer is gonna do something. Bro, I wanna shut these guys down, bro. Call, oh, God. You can't come to the airport. You're not gonna see us anyways. You're not gonna see us. We're inside the thingy, bro. We're inside the gate. You can't j j just j just speak to speak to um uh, the the metropolitan with Mac. Speak to him. And then that's it. All right, tell him to get hold of the airport. I'm gonna get hold of my lawyer. I have everything on tape. I'm gonna get, I, I, I got I got all the proof. I got everything. They were quiet when when they were st standing up for us. They were quiet. Then you even see the people in the back saying goodbye, goodbye. I ain't giving up. I ain't I ain't letting them, bro. Even even some other dude, some other worker was telling me he was like, yo, people for like they're racist. But they kicked out the wrong people. They kicked out me and Slim. They kicked out for speaking Arabic, bro. I'm speaking up. 
I'm not, I'm not getting let this shit slide, bro. I swear on my life, bro. I see this shit happen in, in the news all the time. I see it happen in news all the time. I'm not letting this slide, bro. You must be out of your mind. I'm not letting this slide. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to let it slide. I, I want to make sure you work hard on it on your side in the UK. Me, Slim, once we go back to New York. Bro, they made us feel like fucking terrorists, bro. They, they made me and Slim feel, literally, everyone was screaming at us like we, like we were like terrorists. And I, we're like, what the hell? All we did was speak Arabic to, um, to my mom and speak Arabic to Slim. That's all we did. And then after that, someone thought that the bearded guy was with us because he had a beard. And then he, he was from the UK. He wasn't even from America. And just because I have a beard doesn't mean I'm with them. What the hell? And then he started, he started getting mad too because he was like, just because I have a beard doesn't mean I'm with them. And the, the, the white people were like, he's with them. Yes, they are. They're together. They're together. And Delta, out of everyone, Delta, man, I swear, Wallah, Nas, you know me, but Wallah, I'm my life, man. I'm telling you straight up. I'm not exaggerating nothing right now. Wallah, I'm my life. I wouldn't cry. I wouldn't go all out right now. I'm, I was ready to sleep and see my family. I didn't want to go on social media. Now I'm forced to go on social media and waste my time, bro. Do everything you can, I, I'm, huh? I don't know, I don't even know if they're gonna give us the next flight. They, they're telling us, don't worry, we're gonna give you a free flight after next. No, don't kick us out and, and, and try to make us feel good. Tell us you're gonna give us, you just kicked us out, bro. You just kicked us out. You just kicked us out the plane, bro. All right, somebody's gonna send to you right now. Yeah. Uh, we, we have all the we have all the the footage on the tape everything bro literally everything on tape We started recording when they kicked us out I uh, get him. Yeah, I right, get him cuz I'm not letting the slide bro It happens to so many people and this time I'm gonna make sure they don't ever do it again, bro They don't ever do it again to anyone to anyone, bro. I feel I feel like I'm, I'm a freaking criminal right now getting out the plane All right, all right Oh, I got you. All right, cool. All right, bro. I know, I know, I know. I'm not scared, bro. It's just they made me feel like I, I felt mad, uncomfortable, bro. I'll speak up. I did speak up. I, I, I pulled out the camera. I spoke up, bro. All right, somebody's gonna send to you now, eh? All right, all right. I got you. All right, later. You want to do the review? Yeah, no. Send them all the info for the flights, bro. Send them all the info for the flights. Bro, you need to speak up too, man. Don't be scared of them, bro. Just because you have a beard, they, they, they look down on you. Don't let them look down on you. I'm filming myself, brother. Don't worry. I'm filming myself. I'm filming it for myself, bro. What you guys did, when I turn off the camera, you guys come and step on me, man. People step on me, man. This lady seen everything that happened to her. She kicked us out. Kicked us straight out, man. For speaking Arabic. This is sad. What if someone else is speaking another language? What if someone's speaking Urdu? What if someone's speaking Chinese and you say you feel uncomfortable and you get kicked out? Are you serious? What they, what they should have done is kick out the people who cursed us. We never cursed at no one. Those racist people were like, get them off the effing plane. There was effing uncomfortable here for speaking what they're speaking. I'm like, are you serious? I just spoke to my mom on the phone for Arabic. I spoke to Slim. I keep repeating because there's new people saying so. Those four people that had our backs, but 20 people were so racist, man. I cannot believe it. I'm not letting them slide. I'm not turning off the camera. I promise you guys I'm not going to turn off the camera. I'm charging my phone right now. When I turned off the camera before, ooh, he went, he got loud. He got loud. He saw me turn it off. He's like, you need to get up now. I turned on the camera. He was like, it was precisely going out. It was, pre you're precise. No, shut the hell up, bro. Shut the hell up, bro. I spoke to my mom in the phone in Arabic. I spoke to Slim in Arabic and you kick us out and you know that's why. Don't try to lie when I pull up the camera and say, well, you were speaking kind of loud. So I spoke loud on the plane. You're going to kick me out for speaking loud? For speaking loud. And everyone on the plane were like, bye, saving bye. Unbelievable, bro. I haven't seen my family for a month and a half. I haven't even told my mom about it. I don't know what to tell my mom. These people looking at me like I'm a weirdo, but what I'm doing is the right thing. You'd have gone crazy.
Man. Guys, I'm taking this to court. I swear to God. I'm not letting this happen. I swear my mother's like, I, I, this is... Even if you guys are watching this and you don't like me or you're a fan of me and you're not a fan of me, I need every single one of you guys who speak different languages to help me out, please, man. Help me out. What Delta did was out of my mind. I, I, I don't care that they did it to me, but thinking in my head, if they would have done this to my mom, let's say my mom was on a plane, she's speaking in a different language. My mom is 66 years old. If they'd done this to my mom, how would my mom feel? How would your family feel if they speak a different language and they get kicked out? That's some messed up shit, bro. That's messed up. That's freaking messed up. Me and some young kids, we, we can take it, you know? We can take being tired, us getting kicked out, it's okay, but imagine how many people they did that to who didn't have cameras, who don't know how to fix stuff like that. That's what the other guy was telling me. He said, like, what Delta did is racist, and they always do that. But me and Slim, we happen to be YouTubers, and we could get this shit on tape, and that's what I'm gonna catch it on tape. And once I go back to New York, it's get, I'm not letting this slide until Delta is with me. The owner of Delta is right next to me in my face, and I'm speaking to him. And I'm gonna tell him what kind of workers you have in, in your freaking, what kind of captain you have. The pilot who was flying, he came out, he was a racist douchebag. Racist douchebag, man. Everyone left us too, look. Everyone is gone. Excuse me, I have a question. What's gonna happen right now for us? You're gonna be with us in just a moment? Cool. Slim. What? What's your thoughts? You know, I, I was fucking frozen, bro. I was so quiet. Adam did all the talking. I was so frozen. It felt like a movie, guys. You don't understand. It felt like a movie, how everybody just it started to riot. Like one person spoke up and everybody started jumping up against us. And I was so frozen, I couldn't even talk. It was just Adam talking. I, I couldn't fucking say shit, yo. The thing I is why Slim it. was scared because Slim is the one that me, uh, when I was speaking to my mom in Arabic, after I spoke on the phone, Slim was trying to like... I just couldn't believe he, it, bro. Slim was trying to speak Arabic with me. And then, you know how Slim is? Slim is kind of loud, right? And he said, he spoke, and then they, everyone just went insane. Like, I understand, you can come and be like, hey, um, you're speaking too loud, can you quiet down? But when the lady was saying they feel uncomfortable, and everyone knew, every people of color knew. <clears throat> Sorry, it's bourbon. Every people of color knew that they felt uncomfortable because we spoke a different language. And Slim, was, Slim froze up. He didn't even know what the heck to say. Who are you talking to? I'm telling them right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know you guys are racist people. Me and Slim are not going to post no footage until we're going to post it at the same time and we're going to let you guys all know once it's out me, on my channel and Slim's channel. Once it's out, we're going to let you guys know. I want you to and blast we're gonna speak to our lawyers. Please, we need, you, we need everybody to help us. No, I don't care if you guys don't like us or anything. Please, it's just, it's just we need your help for real. You saw what happened too, and you got us kicked yeah, she, out. I mean, she, she don't you care. got us kicked out, and you she seen what care, happened. Bro. You, you, you seen your fellow white sister and white brother what happened. Yeah, bro. She knows what happened, exactly what happened. Speak Arabic to my mom on the phone, speak Arabic to my friend off the plane. The lady finally, cho finally chose she to can't come out. She don't care. She don't give a shit, bro. She finally chose to come out. She don't care. You know why? Because her people run this fucking country. They run everything. No, bro. I'm, 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 I'm not letting this slide. I'm not letting this slide. Her people care. run the world. They don't kill you. Fuck with her. Look at her face, bro. She don't give a fuck. She's scared. That's what she, she's afraid yeah. right now. Because we're speaking Arabic. Ooh, if I speak Arabic, is, is a shame? I'll, I'll keep speaking Arabic. I'll keep speaking Arabic. <sighs> we, yo, we need a hashtag date, bro. Let's get a hashtag date. Nah, don't, just don't do a hashtag. Just put some. Yeah. Um, uh, guys, what's a good hashtag to put on Twitter for Delta? Awesome. <laughs> Someone's doing a tweet right now. I don't even want to go do a tweet. I'm going to wait till I get to my lawyer. And I'm going to wait till I post Trust me, the I vlogs and the video. I roll pay, bro. Trust me. Um, Let me go, I roll do, 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 do a hashtag. What kind of hashtag we need? We need a hashtag. End of Delta. End of Delta. Delta's over party. No, no, just do, uh, yeah, do Delta's Boy, over. Boycott Delta? Um, guys, what's a good hashtag? I don't know. Boycott Delta? We need something. Boycott Delta, yeah, no, no. What do Boycott Delta? Someone said, I'm aggressive, man. I promise you, this is not me aggressive. I, and if you guys were in my position, you would be even crazier. Yeah. I'll keep speaking Arabic, man. I don't care. And it's me, Adam Saleh. And I'm going Arabi. And I'm going to Arabi. There's people right there, man. I'm not going to show them. Do boycott the Delta, bro. We need this fucking. We need, we need to be heard, bro. This boycott is... Delta. That's the hashtag. Boycott, don't.
Mine's like a mess, man. I wasn't even planning on going on just any social media. <laughs> now I'm forced to go on. Now I'm forced to go on. We have no flight, man. We have no flight to get on. People right now are looking at us like we're crazy, man. It didn't happen to them, bro. That's why they don't care. People are looking they at us like they, we're they, crazy. It didn't happen to them, bro. That's why they don't give a fuck. Miss, if you look at us like we're crazy, I'm sorry. But if you were there, you would know. You would feel worse than the way we're feeling right now. And what's sad? What's sad? That there's workers, you know, of uh, the workers of color with beards. They can't say nothing because they're right here. The white people, the captain, they were saying all the talk and get out. The people of color, they were coming next to us. They were like, they didn't know what to say. They, were, they wanted to help, but they're too scared because of the racist people up there. Brother, you need to stop being scared, man. I'm recording myself. Switch it off, you know, speak to me, right? Why not? Speak up. Say, say what you want, man. People are watching. This is, this is our, we're Muslim, bro. You scared to speak up, man? Yes, you're scared to speak up. Speak up. When they're there, you say something, man. You don't feel comfortable. You're not going to be on the camera. We just hear a voice. I'll speak to you right now. All right. It's off. It's off. It's off. I have to speak to you. It's off. You know, it's off. Tell me. Tell me. Why don't you speak up, man? He, he, he knows exactly what happened. He, he, he's, he's afraid to speak up. About what? Yeah, but you see what happened. They kicked us out for speaking Arabic. Who, 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 did they get out or not? They're off of us for what? Where are they? They, they know what they did. He cursed me out. Let me see what family's out. Uh, yeah, that's one of the guys that cursed me out. Everything, man. We got everything on tape. Someone got dragged out for the Delta. What the hell? Look at this. Show it, Misha. Someone tweeted this is 1214. This is seven days ago, bro.